Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are on the Learn WordPress series where you learn how to use WordPress step by step. Very easy steps, I might add. In this video, we're going to talk about adding pictures or photos to your WordPress site. Now, this is a very easy thing to do, but there's a lot of ways you can do it. So, let's get started. On the left hand side, we're going to look at your posts again. Here you have this nice drop down, drop it down, and select posts. I already have a post created, but you might not. You can click add new if you don't. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the post we've been working with on the previous videos. Now, first thing I wanna say about this is that when you're adding a picture to WordPress, you want to make it search engine friendly. Now, in order to do this, remember that search engines like Google and Yahoo do not see pictures. They can't look at a picture and know what it is. The only thing they see is text. So what I recommend when you're adding only one picture to your post or multiple pictures you, you click on this little permalink right here that you created in a previous post. You right click on it and you click copy and you make this the name of your photo. Now this is a very easy thing to do. Let's say I'm gonna go grab a image from Google. So let me open up a new tab here or a new browser. I'm gonna go to www.google.com and when it comes up, I'm gonna do a search for, why not, Google. And I'll press enter. Up in the left hand corner, I'm going to select images so I can look at the image results and I'll go ahead and take the fourth one here, why not? I'll select it and it'll open it up and then I'm gonna right click and click save image as. Now when I have this setting up, I can go straight to my, um, straight to my desktop and I'll go ahead and save it to whatever I want. I'm just going to paste at this point. You can right click and click paste or you can uh, press control V like I just did and then click save and then this will save the image to your desktop. Now go back to editing your post. Now that you have a post saved with that good text, Let's go ahead at this point and insert an image. You have this nice little button right here for add an image. Go ahead and select that. And at this point, you can select a file from your computer and upload it, which is what we're gonna do. Now you do have the option of entering a direct URL if you have an image from another website that you wanna put in. I don't recommend this. I recommend using your own images and hosting them yourself on your website and putting a title in as well. Also, make sure you enter alternate text. And at this point, you can do your alignment, things like that. Gallery is for images you have already uploaded. Now, uh, obviously, these are from two test ones I've done before, but uh, basically, if you need to, you can click show and insert them at this point. And media library is another method for actually hunting down everything that's in your library, not just in this particular gallery on these particular posts. So let's go back to from computer and select files. And I'm going to go back to my desktop and I'm going to select the test WordPress one that I saved. And notice it crunches it, which means it makes the file smaller for uh, viewing on your website. And then if you scroll down here, you see all the image information, when you uploaded it, what the dimensions are. Now that's a pretty big image, but uh, it also lets you completely edit the size. So at this point, you can edit your image by selecting edit image. You can rotate it counterclockwise. You can rotate it clockwise. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do. Well, in the meantime, if I scroll down here, I can put alternate text here. This is where you're, th remember, this is what Google sees on this image. This is a test image of Google search. So that's what Google's gonna see. They don't actually see the picture. Now caption, this shows up below the picture. So I'll say this shows up, up below the picture. And then of course you can type in a description as well if you would like and a link URL, this will automatically be attached to it after you've uploaded it. Now down here, you can align it to the left, right, or center. Nice thing about this is it actually automatically rotates your text around it, so I'm gonna align it to the right. I'm gonna make it medium, because full size is pretty huge for this post, and I'll go ahead and select insert in a post. I'm gonna show you guys editing here in a little bit. Now as you can see, it automatically put it to the right side of my text here. Then what I need to do is just go up to preview changes, and it's gonna actually load my blog. I haven't uploaded it yet, so I haven't saved it, there we go. Now if I scroll down, as you can see, it's aligned to the right and the image is smaller than the original one I saved. Now if I click on it, it'll actually make it the full sized image. So let me go ahead and go back. And of course, all the text is rotated around it. So that's pretty much all there is to this video, uh, other than I wanted to show you how to edit the video, uh, edit the image. So if you click back on the image in your actual text bar uh, editor, and then you select this little edit image button, you'll be able to come in here and actually, you know, play around with some other settings. You can make the size a little smaller of the image and things like that. Now at this point, of course, you can't rotate it anymore. Uh, you'll have to do that when you're actually inserting the image. So you'll have to reinsert it if you want to actually format it that way or crop it. And let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna try to do this one more time. Select files, I'm gonna add the image, and I'm gonna actually edit the image. That way I can take a look at uh, what we got going on here. Oops, didn't mean to click on it. Edit image. And uh, like you can crop an image too. Like if you just want the G, you can highlight this area right here. 
and then up at the top you can click crop and it'll actually let you crop the image looking like it's not being very friendly here you go apparently I was trying to crop it too small and if I click crop as you can see it'll edit it down to that proper size and then you can rotate it Oh, it's working now yay and uh, you can flip it vertically and horizontally as well as always, thanks for stopping by. I know this video went a little long. I wanted to make sure I show you everything with adding an image to WordPress. There shouldn't be pretty much anything you can't do at this point. And now they're search engine friendly because you've added a title and an alternate text and a caption. So stay tuned. There's plenty more on WordPress to learn, and I hope you stay tuned. It's a little redundant.